I made a big deal about how Click built the Astros bullpen, but it was a mistake not to give Dusty credit. Over Dusty's managerial career, he's taken 24 relievers and lowered the ERA from one to three runs, including Stanek and Montero. This is from a piece that I read on Deadspin. In 2008, the Reds' bullpen was 27th in baseball. Dusty took it. He made it fourth the next season. It was first by 2012. This is a long history for Dusty on this. What's also amazing is how most of Dusty's relievers ERA shot back up when he was no longer their managers. Dusty's pitchers have less walks and they give up fewer home runs. And for that reason, it shouldn't be a surprise that Dusty had so much confidence in Abreu and so little in Ryan Stanek. Think about that. It's also worth noting that Dusty's defenses are always near the top of the league, which is why... Maldi and Yuli were playing over Vasquez and Mancini. I want to know what's attributed to that, though. I mean, that that would be a fantastic question and discussion to have with Dusty Baker, is if you gave him those numbers and that long history going all the way back to his time with the Cincinnati Reds, which I think he'd spent, what, five, six years there with the Reds, dating from 2009 to 2013, 2014, something like that. I'd want to know what he thinks is the reason for that. What did you do? How did you do it? What went in there? Because for a guy, presumably, at that point in time, we're talking 13, 14 years ago now, how involved in any kind of analytics was Dusty Baker? And who were his pitching coaches? Right here. It's here. It's the brain. Dusty's instincts, his ability to work with people, his ability to know when a guy looks like he's in trouble. If there's one thing that we've learned from Dusty, beyond everything else, nobody knows human beings better than Dusty Baker. You're listening to Houston Sports Talk.